another prayer. And you got to walk in it with conviction. He will provide, but you got to do your part. You got to find what it means for you to be a soldier. Beat back those that are trying to kill everything good and right in the world and call it making it great again. We can't afford to be just citizens in a time of war. That'll be surrender. That'll be giving up our future and our souls. Ain't nobody get to sit this one out. You hear me? Hey, yo, uh, like, call all y'all by some y'all shy. But if you see what she was uh, basically talking about, man, she was basically talking about this whole, um, this whole thing that's going on with Donald Trump, man. Like, See, you gotta you gotta watch out, man, because these devils they're trying to entice Jake to actually, you know, get carnal, man. You know, she was talking about, you know, taking up arms and fighting against the ones that's uh, taking away everything that's good in the world, um, in the name of calling it, um, calling it, making it great again. You know, like how Donald Trump his slogan was "Make America Great Again." You know, so you know, at the end of the speech, which just came on last week, you know, I'm just catching it now. But at the end of the speech, you know, she looks directly at the camera, you know, which is basically at the viewers. And, you know, most of the people that watch this is, you know, uh, so-called Negroes, you know, Jake, Israelites. Um, but she's telling them basically that you got to you got to take up arms to fight against this injustice, you know. But that's not that's not, you know, the way, man. The way is what uh, pursuing it to pursuing to Zechariah chapter. Um, get that scripture real quick. Zechariah chapter uh, eight. Chapter um, three, verse uh, eight. Let's get it real quick. Um, Zephaniah chapter three, verse eight. It says, "It says, therefore wait ye upon me, saith Yahweh, until the day that I rise up to the prey. For my determination is to gather the nations, that I that I may assemble the kingdoms to pour upon them my indignation." Even all my fierce anger for all the earth shall be devoured with the fire of my jealousy. All right. So that's what it's about, man. You know, it's, it's not about taking up arms and trying to fight this devil, man, because um, the Lord is going to fight for us, man. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh he's going to lift up that standard, you know, once this devil rolls on us, man. And we understand and we uh, are pursuing a prophecy, you know, Revelation 12, verse 12, that this, that this devil, so-called white man, this government, these elites, they want to come down upon us with great wrath. All right. But... You know, don't like like the speech. You know, I saw the brothers, man. Like the speech was, I found a couple of gems in it. You know, but you know, at the end, I see that I see the way that these devils are trying to, you know, try to twist it, man. They're trying to basically get Jake to fight, you know, um, physically, man, so that they can have a reason to throw him in these concentration camps, so that the, so that they can have a reason to declare war on Israel. All right, but you know, pursuing a prophecy. Um, you know, the race wars are going to happen, man, but the elect, all right, the, the, the one third, you know, our, our job is not to try to fight, you know, physical, man. Our, the, the scripture says, I get that scripture too, you know, that we're going to wait upon the Lord and also that our weapons of war are not carnal, man. All right. So let's get the scripture real quick. Um, just bear with me. It says, um, this is a second. Second uh, Corinthians chapter 10, verse three, for though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through the most high to pulling down of strongholds, casting down imaginations of every high thing that exalted it against that exalted itself against the knowledge of the most high, bringing into captivity every every thought of death of obedience of Hamashiach Yahweh Shai. All right, so that's what it's about, man. Our weapons ain't carnal, man, all right? This devil Esau, he wants us to get carnal because he understands that, he knows that he was blessed with the sword. He understands that he'll roll on Jake, you know, in, in, in a couple hours if, if Jake try to get carnal, man. See the Black Panthers, man, uh, uh, you know, the Bloods and the Crips, everything, man. You know, this devil is a, is a serpent, okay? But he's trying to, you know, use... You know, Jake, all right, this, these type of uh, shows to try to get you, you know, to uh, 
get riled up and and get your spirit riled up for you to do something carnal. But your spirit got to get riled up for you to for you to uh, remain spiritual, man. To for you to put your weapons of war, you know, in in the spirit, okay? Because the scripture says that we are soldiers of Yahweh Shamashiach, okay? And and that's how we're gonna win this thing, man, is by returning spiritually. All right, that's what Esau don't want you to do. He wants you to continue to be carnal. All right, verse six it says. And having in readiness to revenge all disobedience when our obedience is fulfilled. Okay, so the Lord is going to revenge us, man. The Lord is our our, our avenger, man. He's the one, the scripture says what? Vengeance is mine. So he's the one that's going to avenge us. But we got to do what? We got to be obedient to him. We got to get our minds right first, man. We got to repent. We got to come back, you know, to, 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 to Yahweh in the name of Yahweh Shai. All right, have that faith. And then the Lord is going to you know, uh, revenge all disobedience, man, starting with two thirds and starting with, you know, uh, um, you know, in, uh, these nations in, in, in Esau, man. All right. And ultimately, you know, taking down this kingdom, man, by 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 the Lord doing it, man, like how this Lord told us in Joshua, um, the book of Joshua, stand ye still and and see the salvation of the Lord, man, that the Lord will fight our our battles, man. All right. So the soldier that you want to be is a soldier for Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shah. He's the one that's going to, you know, uh, bring this bring this kingdom down, man. And all we got to do is just be be obedient to him. All right. So, you know, with that, you know, uh, call all your how about Shai. Shalom.